Hello, I'm Ashley, the engineer at Andover Norton. In the past, we have had people saying that they can't get the gudgeon pin to fit their 650 SS. It's only this model this really applies to, and maybe some of the other 88 SS as well that were later in the, you see later in the 60s. There is a reason for this. Now, no one in the market space manufactures a piston for a 650 SS. I know, I've tried, if I could buy them, I would. But they're all saying they're 600 cc pistons. The 600 cc piston is different than what you'll get on a 650 SS. The reason being is the gudgeon pins that go in the plain small end of the later con rods is a different size. Now, when this person said to me they couldn't get the gudgeon pin in their small end, I thought they were actually taking the mickey until I actually looked at the old catalogues, measured the piston gudgeon pins, only to find they are different sizes. This is a 600 piston and it has a gudgeon pin which is half a thou different to that 750 one. The 750 diameter is actually smaller than a 600. This size gudgeon pin was used in the 60s when the plain con rod came into use with the plain small end. What we find is when you fit them to a 650 and the pin is tight, you'll get seizure marks across either side of the gudgeon pin hole. I've spotted this on people's bikes that have asked me what the problem is. And I know Pete Lovell has actually spotted it on some people's bikes that he's had through his workshop as well. The same seizure marks, not on the skirt, but across either side of the gudgeon pin hole. So people say, how does this occur? Some people get away with it. If there's wear in the small end, because we're talking about 0.7 of a thou difference. That's all we're talking. Some people most probably have that amount of wear. So when they come to fit a 600 piston in a 650 SS, they get away with it, but not everyone does. It's most probably further complicated by the fact that some of the guidance that was kicking around that supports the Dominator, two very good books here. One says, when you ream the old style small end with a bush in it, it should be a sliding fit. And one said it should be a push fit. So you can see again, there's conflicting information from that period, which doesn't help the owner either. Now on the board behind me is a drawing of what the small end diameter should actually be when you go to fit a 650 SS gudgeon pin. Now, you can ream to make sure your rods are actually that size. That's what I would do to make sure that my small end in my plain rod is actually the correct dimension. If you've got any other small end, that figure does apply from 1963 as well, because on the later 88 models, they also changed to the figure on this drawing. Now, if you've got any questions about this, please feel free to ring me. I'd rather you did so we could talk it over rather than you just buy the pistons, fit them and they seize. It's something you need to check. Now, personally, I would always go for a sliding fit in a plain aluminium small end, not a push fit. If it's too tight, the heat will build up, it will make the situation worse and then you're going to end up with a seizure. Any questions, get in touch with myself and Simon at Andover Norton and we'll certainly help you out with this one. Thank you very much.